Have you guys ever wanted to know which unit of the secret faction was the strongest as of the most recent update? I mean, I can't do it for like every single update, but the way this tournament is going to go down, I'm going to go every single two. We're going to go from cheapest to most expensive, and there are 28 secret units, meaning that they're going to be 14 after this round, then 7... Then the last ones that I do, the most expensive showdown, like say Artemis wins against the Ice Giant, I'm gonna have the um, most expensive winner go to the next round um, when there are seven com contestants, and then the other six will go up against each other, and then I'll have another big giant thing but this is the first competition we have the lunar versus the bomb stick yeah! see how it goes down honestly i'm going for yep ballooners considering that the bomb sticks most likely just destroy themselves next up a fan bear against a raptor we have an equal cost of uh one right here but it seems pretty certain that the raptors will win now this is going to be an interesting fight will it be the teacher or the shouter for me personally i'm betting on the shouter just because they blow back people so hard. and i mean they get weaker their their shouts get weaker but does have like an effect and i mean the teachers have a good amount of health as well but will that compare to Wait a minute, wait a minute, oh, um, now, uh, knocked away, oh, but wait, here we go, and the teachers took the victory. Some of these matchups are just super unlucky, where you have a melee specialist going up against a range specialist. Oh, but wait, while they, while they reload, it seems... Oh my gosh. You know what? I was expecting the Chuko News to win that. Next up are even match... 7 Taekwondos against 8 Executions. I am not sure how this is gonna go. Oh! Well, I know that the, that the uh, Taekwondo did high amounts of damage. Oh, it's come down to the wire, and the Taekwondo kicks him. And here you have it, the mass slaughtering of cheerleaders. It's just so sad. Now, the Cupid unit actually only works if there are two of them, so... Um... Yeah, it only works if there are two units. If there's just one unit, it'll like it'll just bug out and the enemy will just run off of the map. So this is the only way that you can have like a semi-fair fight. Um, but yeah, Cupid's win anyway. Two clam men against Vlad. Who will win? Now Vlad is a tank. And, uh, he just walked through those clams. Well, since there is no actual number that this can be counted as, I just, just chose to represent it as a, like, some of the fairest, even battles. Like, the wheelbarrow dragons have the advantage, but, like, I thought that they would actually kind of need it because they're just gonna get blown to bits. <sighs> What the? Okay, maybe there is somebody. Oh my! What the? D d what? That guy's so small. And here it is: ten cavalry against eight. Well, against nine Lady red jades. You heard it here first. Lady red jades are going to rip right through. This is 70,000 worth of Blackbeards against 70,000 worth of Shogun. Here you have it. 
Oh, that black dude just got ganged up on and diced. Absolutely diced. Wait, the area damage of the black dude just might be able to beat them. Yep, the last show. And he got taken down. Here we go, Samurai Giant versus the Sensei. It's pretty unfair considering that the Sensei can sort of throw things back and like look at how, look, look at how many shurikens the Sensei can throw. That much damage. Space them out a bit better. Like I know that the tree giants are practically guaranteed the win. Considering that the Oolers are meant to deal splash damage. So that's not really a fair fight, but Tree Giant moves on. 78,000 worth of Ice Giants against 78,000 worth of Artemis. Ice Giants are just too big, I had to space them out into three different rows of them. Like, and then you just have this insane amount of incoming fire. Along with the insane amount of ice giants. Oh man, those Artemis. There's just too many ice giants for them. Like one on one with more distance. And I'm pretty sure the Artemis would be able to win. But in this kind of situation, it just seems almost impossible. I mean, there are still quite a few up. And then you just have this one so when you're expiring it. Nothing. But, um, yeah, that is the first round of the records. Our first matchup, the Ballooners against the Raptors. Let's see, will the Ballooners be able to lift them up into the air? It seems... Um... It seems unlikely that the Ballooners... We'll be able to lift the raptors into the air. Next matchup, the teacher against the jester. Let's see how this one ends up being- Oh! Mm. Um, okay, those jester's taekwondo skills just absolutely roasted them. Here we go, the taekwondo versus the raptor right here. This one ends up being- I'm guessing it's gonna be in the favor of the taekwondo considering that- Oh my! <laughs> um, okay. Kind of the opposite. Looks like the Taekwondo were not able to roundhouse kick the Raptors into the air. Next up, four Cupids against two Vlads. Let's see how this one ends up being. Oh, they're right underneath them. But wait. Uh oh. Oh no. They're not able to attack the Cupids. Now, yet it does have to be just with two of the enemies. You can't just be one. Because, well, then it would be a bug and it wouldn't work at all. Next up, Bomb Cannon against Lady Red Jade. Blasting off quite powerfully. And as you can see, all of them remain intact. And look at that. They blew themselves up. Blue victory. Just so you know, guys, in the end, I am totally betting on. Um, what is it? Uh, the Raptors to win in the final showdown. Unless those senseis come out on top. Next up, the two giants clash. The ice giant against the tree giant. Who will win in this epic duel? looks like a team up over here, and one of them has more technological brains than the other, however, the sheer power of the ice giants might just- are you kidding me? Did they buff the- okay, no, one of the tree giants is down, another one, yeah, and then he's just getting beat up and stomped on, but in the end, the tree giants with their mighty clubs won the duel. And here we are, the raptors going at it. Oh, one of them fell down. Oh, I was gonna say, those jesters might actually stand a chance by stabbing the raptors, but uh, 
No, it only took two raptors, not even a third one, lazy, to uh, finish the fight. And that guy is just getting mauled by that raptor. Next up, $12,000 is what it took. That oh, wait, wait, oh, wait. Nice. Is it the raptor and the rider? It's some raptors and some riders. That and the cupids are flying. It seems I would take a couple of rain to take them down. Oh! Well, that is not stopping some of the raptor riders from just clearing them off of the books. Even though there are a lot. I was not expecting the raptor riders to win, I was expecting the cupids to shoot them, and then all the raptors and all the riders would just be like, in a big giant group, like, but no, they just, they absolutely destroyed them. When a raptor goes down, the rider just gets on off and starts hitting them. Then up next, the senseis against Lady Red Jade. Lady Red Jade is a specialist and she can do many things, but uh, deflecting a whole bunch of shurikens is not one of them. And then of course there's nobody to face off against the tree giant, so he just moves on to the next round. Well, it's come down to this. The raptors have to face the raptor riders. Who's better? The wild breed of masses? Or the commanders? Who's better? The riders? Or the raptors? It seems to clearly be the riders. As the riders can take a bite and not really worry about the fight. See, look at that. Just hits him with the. Oh, but wait. There's one. There's two. It's a 2v2 battle of the finest! And they're going at it! Oh no, until one of them gets roasted. And then the. Oh, but one! The, the, the last raptor is, is stuck. And then there's just. The thing is eaten. There might be some bloody fire going on. Well, blue victory. Raptor Rider moves on. And then the last one is the sensei up against the tree giant. It didn't go so well for the uh, samurai giant, but why would it go any better for the tree giant? Now the senseis have a fast fire rate, an extremely fast fire rate, that can take down these raptors extremely quickly, which is why I'm saying goodbye to many of the raptors, but wait. The sheer outnumbering of the raptors may just give these guys a chance. One of them's down. One of them's up. Another one's down. And another one is down. There's literally one man left. These raptors. Oh. They won. As you can see, look at how many shurikens are in this guy's shield. He blocked so many shurikens with that shield. And then you have the hungry raptor gang simply coming in to finish the job and destroy the city. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your strongest unit in tabs, the raptor riders. To be honest, they were given a buff, their raptors were given a buff so that they were stronger, and the men are also stronger. <clears throat> like, when these raptor riders first came out, they were so weak. Like, you could put two raptors up against a raptor rider, and it's like the raptors would win every single time. One raptor was like 75% as strong as a raptor rider, and they only cost about like... 30% of the raptor rider, so you never use this guy, but they were cool to like, use for a charge or something, like, got your, your uh, shield right there. This is what I like to call poor man's Calgary, when you just, you're poor. Look at this guy. This raptor is so small, and the rider is so small as well, but he's jumping like he means it. 
Yeah, but since then they've gotten buffs. Their raptors are stronger than regular raptors by, I think, quite a bit of health. The raptor riders are pretty tough. Like, the raptor riders alone can take some hits. But that'll be all for today, guys. Make sure to leave a comment, like, and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Thank you for the support, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.